What's going on guys? Zarasify Gaming here and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make an outro screen for your YouTube videos. So for this tutorial I'm going to be using Photoshop, but this will also work in Paint or GIMP or Paint.net, things such as that. So I'm going to be using Photoshop for this. So once you launch your program, whatever you're using, you want to go to File, New, and you can name it background just or outro screen whatever you want to do I'm gonna name it outro for this tutorial uh, then the width will be 1280 and the height will be 720 because that is the default screen size of YouTube player so we're gonna go ahead and create that and it'll be a white screen so next what you want to do is double click it and you can name it outro screen if you want you don't have to but I, I'm going to be doing it because I like to be organized um, so yeah that's that so if you wanna customize it you can go right click it and cl click blending options so once you're into there uh, bevel and emboss is not really that great for a background but you can add like texture and that's it makes it like have a texture you know you know it's self-explanatory uh, stroke is mainly for like picture in picture not really for background uh, most of these are so if you there's color overlay gradient overlay and pattern overlay so color is just a solid color um, I do not prefer this but you can use it uh, gradient overlay is pretty nice there's like many different types of uh, gradient overlays. You can always change the color too. Uh, so there's that option. And then there's pattern overlays, which there's a bunch of default. Well, not really a bunch, but there's default uh, like patterns that you can do. Now, I don't prefer many of these. I prefer to make my own background. Um, or not make it, but you can go to Google Google Images, and you can search HD backgrounds, and then you can pretty much find one you like. So for this one, I guess I will use, hmm, let's just use this one. It's pretty cool. So you're going to save the image as, and then you'll save it. And then you pretty much just want to drag the picture in to Photoshop, and then you have your background uh, to place it. You just ha right click and then click place. But other than that, um, that's so that's the background. Uh, you can always make it yourself too by using the brush tool or the paint tool, whatever it's called. Uh, the next is the text to add your name or any text that you want to put on the outro screen. So. You want to go to the horizontal type tool, just click it, and then you can pick whatever font you want. I like orange juice, but I'm not going to be using orange juice because it's hard to see. Uh, so I'm going to use Bayvus. It's I think it comes with a uh, with Photoshop. So uh, the recommended I I like 200 size font, but you could uh, you could like test things out to see if how, what size you want. Uh, I prefer 200 because it's a decent size and it's not too big and it's not too small. And then for color, I'll do like green because it doesn't blend in with the background. Okay, so what you want to do is click and drag to the area that you want to type in. And then you just pretty much want to type that recipe. And if it's too big, then you can extend like that like that and I just want to even it out a little bit there we go alright so that's that you can click this tool to move it around and stuff I'm just gonna keep it in the top center now if you want to customize the letters you want to right click the Zarasify tab go to blending options and then it'll bring up the things that are like useful for the background also so uh, there's texture, as I said before. I actually like contour. 
uh, not texture, um, contour because it adds like a sha like a shadow kind of thing. And then the stroke is like an outline. I always use this so you can outline your letters to make them look better. So I always put stroke on, and you can change the color, uh, but I, I prefer black. And then you can uh, change the size. And I usually use like 9 or 10 or 11. Uh, so that adds like emphasis to the letters. And then there's a bunch of other things. Uh, you can add like gradient overlay if you want to. But um, there's drop shadow I always use also. You can click drop shadow and then go to distance. And you can see the shadow like moving. So I, I always use that too. So it's a nice, nice words now. Nice words. Okay, so next what you want to do is you can also so you can put the uh, links so like oh crap okay so like twitter logo uh, just click a random logo make sure it has uh, like a checkered checkerboard background behind it because that means it's PNG and it doesn't have a background. You'll see what I mean in a second when I drag this into Photoshop. Like it's just the logo and it doesn't have the white background, so it kind of looks good. Uh, so, so we're gonna put the Twitter logo in the middle, but you can put it wherever you want. Right click and place. Next, we're gonna do the Facebook logo. Uh, you gotta find a fa good Facebook logo. Make sure it has the checkerboard background unfortunately that one does not this one does so save image as blah 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 drag it into Photoshop sorry excuse me and then just make it so it's like the sa about the same size as Twitter um, you can add other social media things like such as Google Plus or whatever and then um, next is the like borders for putting your videos in so if you want a border you can always make it yourself with the brush tool by using like uh, yeah the, the paint tool and then you just make a border but I, I usually like to google um, border PNG and you can just use one of these simple ones so I'm gonna use this one and just Okay, hold on. Alright, and then drag it into there. Okay. Apparently this this one's not available, so I'll use this one. This one's pretty Q. So that's a border. And then you drag it in. And then you can resize it to what size you want. So I'm going to put it there. And then in the video editor, whatever editor you use, like Sony Vegas or... I'm saying, hey Sean, how you doing? Um, you can put your video in there by using picture in picture. I'm pretty sure you can figure that up. There's another tutorial for that somewhere. Uh, but yeah, if you want to emphasize the border more, you can do whatever you did to the text, like drop shadow and stuff. So that's that, and that's another border. So you can duplicate the layer if you want, and then drag it to the other other side and then a little bit up a little bit more up okay and then that's pretty much it so that's how you make a the 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 YouTube outro screen and um it's pretty cool looking so that's pretty much it i hope you guys have enjoyed this video oh before i forget um to export this you go to file and save as and you can save it to wherever you want and then m this is important so at the save as type you want to click uh, the JPEG one the first JPEG one so it will save as a JPEG and you'll be able to upload it to YouTube then click save and make sure the quality is at maximum and then yeah and then once you're done with that you can go ahead and open the picture and there you go so all you have to do now is put that after your video in your video editor 
And that is pretty much it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like rating below and maybe subscribe for more daily content. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.